On social media since the debate, you have probably seen poll after poll. Some have the race close, with former President Trump leading by two percentage points. Others have him up by seven. How much of an influence do these polls, though, actually have on the presidential election itself? Winku's anchor Emma Heaton went to find out today. All over the headlines and across social media, a flurry of polls. There are snapshots in time, and this is months before the actual election. So in that sense, you know, it doesn't really matter. Political expert Aubrey Jewett knows polls that pop up every time you scroll up are hard to ignore. But the numbers vary. This poll from the end of June to beginning of July shows Trump leading by 3.3 percentage points, while two others had Trump ahead by six percentage points. Many of the polls are reasonably accurate, meaning that if we had some evidence closer to the election and we looked at the pre-election polls, most of them are going to be in the ballpark. But bottom line is they're not perfect. I asked viewers on social media this question. Do you keep up with the latest presidential race polls? And do you vote based on what the polls show? Some said they view the polls as influential, but most dismiss them as irrelevant or inaccurate. Jewett's advice. Figure out what, who you think is going to do the best job and vote accordingly, regardless of the polls. Take what you see with a grain of salt. Emma Heaton, Wink News. A couple of sites that Jewett uses as reputable sources to track polls are 538 and Real Clear Politics. They aggregate multiple polls together and provide averages for a more balanced view.